This is by far one of the handiest tips or tricks to know for OBS to do, in my opinion. How's it going, folks? Welcome to another video, and in this one, I'm going to show you guys how you can stop using the Twitch dashboard on your Internet Explorer, be that Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, whatever, and have all that inf same information in your OBS Studio. Let's take a look. If you've live streamed before, you've probably seen this page. This is the Twitch Creator Dashboard, and it's available to everybody that has a Twitch channel. You can go into your account just now and have a look at it for yourself. But this is it, open with every possible window open, and it's pretty hectic. Starting at the top left up here, we have our reward requests. So these are for channel points. Then we have quick actions, people who host you, your auto mod queue, your active mods, your mod actions, chat, activity feed, stream health, your stream itself down the bottom middle, and your stream info here at the bottom left. Now, there's so much information here, you do not need it all. Not one bit. But the important thing is that every single one of these windows can be popped out. This is what we're going to use to our advantage and we're going to be able to add every single one of these if we wanted to into OBS Studio. So the first thing to do is to decide what you want to view in OBS Studio. There's no point in having your stream preview or your chat or even really your stream info because all of that is already built into OBS Studio in its latest version. The things you're going to want to see are really your quick actions, your mod actions and maybe your stream health or your reward requests and those are the ones that I'll be taking forward and putting into OBS Studio but the process for this is the same for every tab here that you can see at the moment. As I mentioned before, the important part of this is that every single window here can be popped out. And that's how we're going to do it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my quick actions here and I'm going to click and pop out. It's going to open up a window. Fantastic. This URL here, your dashboard, Twitch, my username, stream quick actions. I'm going to hit copy. And we're going to head into OBS Studio. Okay, look, I'm beginning right in the middle of the screen now. So what we're going to do OBS Studio, we've copied the link from the pop-out window and we're going to head up to the top left, hit view, go to docs and then select custom browser docs. Now I've already done the quick actions but I will do it again just so you guys can see. So we're going to hit custom browser docs, we've got quick actions, doc name and then the URL in here. All you do, paste your URL in here and you're good to go. You hit apply and that's it done. Okay so I've went back here and I have copied my stream health. So I'll do the same for stream health. We'll go docs, custom browser docs. I'll put in here stream health. Paste my URL, hit apply, and there we are. Brilliant. The important thing to note about this is that the first time you do it, it might ask you to log in. It's totally safe. It's another browser. It's as if you're logging in from a new device, like a phone or a new internet browser or anything like that on a computer. Perfectly safe. The best thing about it is that this can be pinned onto the side. It doesn't have to be this floating window. So I can pin this here. I can go to my view, my docs, and get my quick actions. Here's my quick actions. Click them here. And resize all of these windows and see absolutely everything that I want to see right from OBS. This is by far one of the handiest tips or tricks to know for OBS to do, in my opinion and it has infinite uses. You can put any website on here if you want to have Twitter on here, you want to have Reddit, you want to have whatever, you can add it in here. Other important things to have, if you have missing, or if they are missing, sorry, you can go into view docs and you can have your chat, you can have your stream information, you can have your Twitch stats. There are also, I might just open up here on a little tiny monitor, a little tiny side, there are infinite number of docs you can have on here as far as i'm aware there's not a limit and yeah go crazy this is genuinely one of the best things that i've used for obs and i advise everybody to use it folks thanks for watching i know this one was short and sweet i'm going to start a new kind of series where it's just straight to the point tips and tricks and that will be coming soon but if you enjoyed the video 
subscribe, hit like, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.